What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and in today's video we'll be continuing our little road to GC here in 1v1s. Right now we're at Diamond 1 Division 3, maybe we can hit champ this video, I don't know if I'm being really uh, adventurous there, but uh, we'll see. I'll see you guys in the games. Before we get into the video, if you do end up enjoying the video, please do hit that sub button and like button as it really means a lot and it really helps grow the channel. I don't want to take up any more of your time, so enjoy the video. Alright into uh game one forgot what numbers are for a second but we're against mr b chris here 1018 i'll be grabbing some boost i'll be kind of shattering this play i know he used a little boost i'm gonna turn here he's ready for the turn i'll play by him I'm trying to stall out a not stall but uh try to wait a little bit before i challenge because i didn't have the best angle but i could have just went back there it probably would have been a better decision I gotta grab this boost. I know he has no boost. Him challenging here is a little bit interesting. Mainly because, you know, he doesn't have the most amount of boost. And if he jumps, he has to beat me to the ball. But yeah. We'll definitely be trying to, as I said, last video, work on your kickoffs. That's got to be... Yeah, it's pretty important to work on your kickoffs. You can sway a... Uh, Whole game, right? There we go, we went into the corner. I gotta see where he goes. He turns, yet again, bad decision here. If you go all the way back for your boost, you can be prepared for the play. Doesn't matter if the opponent has boost and the ball or not. Did a pretty decent job at, you know, jumping, but that's not gonna save you. So he has the advantage here on the kickoff. I'm gonna go back for boost. He's probably gonna shoot this. He didn't. Gonna dribble it. <laughs> Double jump there for the height. Grab the boost. Hit the ball forward. 50. And then boom. Go. Saying, wow. I don't know how much I can do there for him. But, yeah. As I said in the first episode of this series, I'm going to try and help you guys kind of like understand what ones can be and what ones is. So right here, I'm going to take my time on the dribble and I'm watching to see if he challenges and he does. So I'm going to either flick in or try to just generally outplay him. Luckily, I could get the flick off before he could get to the ball. But yeah, my eye there was on him the whole time. Maybe one of these days I'll set up an, an eye tracker to uh, show you like what I'm looking at. Won't score that a little too high level for this rank right now. He did a good job of like switching the play, switching the ball, but we just get another kickoff, or not kickoff, but uh, another open net. And that seems to be the theme and that's another forfeit. <laughs> so hopefully There'll be less scoring soon, and hopefully more gameplay so I can show you, but yeah, that's game one. I'll see you guys in game number two. All right, into game number two. We're facing that diamond three and 2v2. This guy's almost champ. We faced, I believe, two champs last video that were champ in separate modes. We're gonna go back there and play the hit, or the, the shot. He's gonna try and get a shot. Oh, that's bad. So I'm gonna rush all the way back to my net. He's gonna go for a demo, we watch out for that. Now we play it slow on the wall here because he's a little awkward and I can gain a little more control. I can't see him, so I'm just gonna, whoa, miss input. <laughs> but again, take my time on the wall here. Okay. He's gonna back with that enemy. I'm just gonna go grab this boost and try and get a control touch. Ah, try to dip it past him. Double jump there, try to like not hit it, hit it, but you know, he's gonna go back. He's got an awkward jump. Maybe he goes again. Oh, that's just a bad hit. That's just a horrible play. Could have had a counter attack there. Still has a counter attack. I'm gonna try and stay on the ball here. Can't see him, so I'm gonna try and get into a position where I can. Better get a sneaky shot. Didn't land the, the power. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to take the ball in the air. I'm going to be ready for the hit there. I'm just going to hit this on target. 
kind of on target. Not really. <laughs> Watch what he's doing. He's taking his time on the wall. I'm going to get the demo. Just so I can maintain possession, he's just going to spawn on the other side of the wall. So I'm just going to... Ooh, I meant to just chip that. I'm just going to go full, full speed at the ball. He's probably going to go up. Yeah. Probably gonna try and force a demo. I'm gonna go grab this boost so he can't. He's gonna back off. Good smart play from him. I can't see him, so. I'm just gonna try and flick it. Oh, I'm too good. Oh, I'm too bad. But I hit over him. Unfortunate. And that's in the net. Okay. He had the right idea there. He could, he could have had a lot more time to control that, though. That's the only thing I'll say. Mediocre kickoff. He's going to take it to the sidewall. So I have time to grab boost. I'm just going to challenge this. Almost got around me. Fake. Grab the boost. He's probably going to shoot this. Yep. I don't have to worry about anything. Maybe the demo, but... That's... Not on this go. What a... I'm going to call lucky touch there from him, but... He is a little awkward, so I do have a little bit of time to shoot. Line up my shot. And that's another, that's another forfeit. Oh. Okay. That's two forfeits. We're gaining a lot of MR. Maybe we're Diamond 2? We are Diamond 2. Champ might have been out of the question, but we're getting there close. Closer and closer. Sooner and sooner, faster, faster. Whatever. I'll see you guys in game number three. Alright, game number three here. Maybe, maybe game number three here. If he loads in, joins up. Okay. My thought is that he might be... Okay, never mind. My only thought here, why he uh, loaded in so late, was maybe console and bad connection. Or maybe he's a DDoSer. <laughs> I don't know yet. But from the looks of it, we're fine. Hopefully there's no DDoSer. <laughs> But yeah, that was a regular kickoff goal there. I'm gonna try and match him. Match complete. I missed. He has a counter attack, a free net, and that's just a just an error on my end. <laughs> I cut it a little too soon. I flipped just a second too early, and I uh, hit the post. <laughs> Happens. I'm gonna be trying. There we go. I think control this. Threaten a ball off the wall. And bang. Now that might not work higher up. So I'll have to test it. But we'll see. So far yet again. It's just kickoff goal after kickoff goal. I won't take that one because. Might leave. <laughs> and that's in his net. That's unfortunate. The reason I challenged there, specifically, is because I realized that the ball is a little too far away from him, where he can't do anything, and the ball is higher than he is, so he has to jump to it, and I have the uh, kind of easier go at the ball, where I'm facing it, instead of below it, like here. Just gonna get a flick, and that's in the net. Boom. Little pop off the wall, staying right behind it. Little flick. Wasn't ready for it. Unfortunate. Yeah, my only hope is that he doesn't do those. I'm gonna try and take this ball up off the wall here, just pop it. I'm gonna go for a shot because I think he's gonna push me. Yep. We can see panic touch and good clear from him for being there. I wasn't expecting the squisher. Did. He does just pass it to me. He does get a panic. And that is another forfeit. Since <laughs> since that was three forfeits, I'll play another bonus round for you guys. So let's get into it. All right. We are against Mr. ML Genius or whatever his name is. Let's call him MLG. MLG here with a pretty solid kickoff. I am going to try and take this back to my mid boost or the mid boost. Get a decent shot. Not decent, but a shot on that. A touch. I fake the control. What, what was that? That was so delayed. 
Put control touch off the wall. Try and get it around him? Didn't get around him. But I do have... I'm gonna try and fake. Make him mid at my direction. It does get that boost. I'm gonna stall. Or not stall, but... Slow down on the ball. I don't have enough boost to follow this play. I could have maybe raced him to his corner. I don't think I would have won it. I'm gonna grab this boost to take away from him. He's probably gonna get it, yeah. That touch is hard to control, especially if you're going fast down the wall. Which is why I typically don't do it, or I try to not to. But, especially when you use your boost. When you especially use your boost on the corner, you can go, like, really fast in a short amount of time. You can mess up your touch. I'll take it back here. He's challenging right away, so I'm gonna take it to the corner. I'm gonna go up. I'm just gonna follow the ball here. He's giving me space. I saw him fully turn there. So I did go for a little touch there. Boom. A little flick. I mean, not a little touch. <laughs> Off again. Oh. I didn't think this is how it'd go, but that's four forfeits. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.